It's now on coronavirus, but I think this is just a, a safe reaction from Gideon Koke. He says actors must present medical reports before shooting um, a kissing scene. Um, he said time has come when we all owe ourselves the responsibility of showing medical records. Acting is a contact spot. What, um, what with spittle, running free, when in the heat of passion, dialogue, passionate dialogue. Okay, I, I like think he makes sense. Yeah, I, was uh, I thought they were not doing just this about before. corona yeah. virus, but the fact that coronavirus. you there's so many viruses and diseases <laughs> that can be passed through kissing. Mm. So if you're going to um, assume these roles in any movie, it's just normal for you to have const constant checkup and be sure that you're not passing something from yourself to someone else yeah. because you're just acting, you know. So, if they weren't doing this before, then there is a problem. Yeah, because I know even, especially with the porn industry, it's something that's like very big for them. Oh, that's <laughs> porn. <laughs> uh, they have, you have to do checkups, but you have to do checkups quite often because of how you know body contact yeah body is, body yeah contact. that is going on so i'm very shocked if these people are not doing that now um with with coronavirus in 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 town if i can say that way <laughs> that has come to visit us i think you start to really see how much of your hygiene isn't really up to par like when the dog when they announce that we shouldn't be touching our faces and stuff mm -hmm. i've not become so conscious it hasn't stopped but i can count how yeah. many times i'm touching I'm my face i'm touching my eyes my ear <laughs> as i'm eating i'm like did i wash this hand what if i'm transparent something from my hand to the food into my mouth um, so I understand how this is not making him question the level that the level of hygiene that the industry has but I'll just be really disappointed if they haven't done all that because I'm just thinking about every person that I've seen acted mm. and I'm like what are you transferring to each other mm. that you don't even know about yeah. um, I think for me um, Gideon Okeke is one of the actors in the Hollywood industry that I really admire because I think whenever it comes to whatever it is he does, he brings a level of professionalism to it. Right. So um, him saying this, I hope that it's not just going to be a one-off and people are the people in the industry would actually take him seriously and put measures in place, not just because there's coronavirus now, even going forward. forward. Even after this coronavirus, hopefully we die down. I mean, I heard you can guess hepatitis <laughs> in B from kissing. Yeah, yeah, you can. If Even herpes, uh, herpes too. Herpes is a big so one. So that's not big. Like Even beyond, yeah. they should and actually is make one it that a. Should really be scary for them because yeah. it doesn't show symptoms early. Mm -hmm. um, and even when you do have it, like you know you have that condition, it's not easy to identify. Mm -hmm. It's only when your immune system is down, like you have something else already wrong with you, mm -hmm. that you it starts to come out of the mouth. So you could be steady. Kissing and it's someone. also possible for someone to have it and because they have very strong immune system it doesn't affect them but, but they are the carrier and they can keep else. Yeah. Uh, yeah. and I also want to draw attention to the way I mean I was having a conversation with some friends and we're talking about the way we have taken let's just call it the media in nigeria because as i remember we have established that everybody's the media these yeah. days increasing the fact that you have a twitter handle means you can spread information right yeah. so the way we took the reportage of coronavirus and also making people understand that you should do this and do that compared to lassa fever that have taken more than a thousand lives mm. just in one week yeah. you know i think it's different why is it Absolutely. different it's different because coronavirus is not just it's not just limited to nigeria it's airborne mm. It's not airborne. Well, no, it's not it's airborne. It's not airborne, but it sort of works. It, it's it, no, it's, it's not transmitted airborne. The reason, the air. the reason what no, it no it's not. But the reason why it it works like airborne is, let's say I sneeze on this table yeah. and then you touch the table and touch your face and you get it. So it still has to be through droplets. Yeah. Um, but it doesn't necessarily work in airborne. Like I breathe, you nah, no, it's not, that, that's it's not that. that um, so, but what the conversation is is that the level of attention that has been given to coronavirus that has not even taken one life in nigeria compared to lassa fever that has taken thousands of I lives think, in nigeria for that for me what I the person was is saying is the I influence of the western media on us even when we try to say oh we do our thing we're not trying to be westernized yeah. if this did not start from china yeah and okay. we've been watching it grow and talking about yeah. it in you know 
I don't think this level of yeah. um, attention will be given to it. But we need, really need to go back to look at Lassa fever because it is killing people. Coronavirus Still. has not stopped. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but I think it's also because of the way coronavirus has been spreading. It is spreading at a very spreading scary. Way. To All different, the world. I'm talking different about what concerns countries. us and what affects us. But, and see, how but it has gotten it. to the us truth, right the now. And also the fact that there Nigerians, is no treatment. Nigerians are also everywhere. As soon as it touch China, it's affecting Nigeria. As soon as it touch America, it's affecting Nigerians. Mm -hmm. Australia is affecting affecting Nigerians yeah. because we all have someone somewhere, somewhere out, out, there. out there and this world. is something that is kind of like like the name a novel like the, you see that the scientists always call it a novel mm. like we don't know the it's nature of it Lhasa mm. is has been uh, developed a lot more that people already know like what causes it the symptoms the, the treatment so isn't that why that should be a big problem because you know like you said what causes it the even though it is categorized with still this they are categorized with Ebola virus and the like so right. If you know the reason, you know the cause, you know there is some self, some level of treatment uh, and even preventive measures, mm -hmm. and we're still recording that level of death. I'm talking about the mortality rate now, not mm, just that there yeah. is Lassa fever, right? Yeah. So it's, I, I don't know, it's, it, it bothers me to know that that is where we are and that we, I'm not removing myself from the equation right now. We do not take our lives really seriously. Of if a person can die and we just move on and uh, we don't Of course, care. because if you look at the, the, the Minister of Health, I don't know if you watch his addressing to the world. We're not talking about mm. Nigeria now. And his chair was like, it's like my chair now having tattered the thread and foam is gushing out he was sitting on a chair that didn't even make sense you have to understand that while in a country that do, that doesn't care doesn't have a maintenance mm -hmm. um, culture. culture so even with last fever to, to maintain that like dialogue to maintain that um, information flow we, we don't have that it's from top to bottom so but i think that so uh, far with the level of work that has been put into containing the coronavirus i think that they've actually tried really in containing it and i think what, what are the level of works put in place? Okay, to be fair, they were to very prepared. To be fair, they and were, they were, they were actually prepared. The, the fact that they were able to even trace, you know, the people yeah. that the man has met mm, in order yeah. to, to be so honest, the, the, I'll say you, I, I am actually he, The way he will also explain, I'm, if you I'm watch that, that think so. no, I mean, he had, they had been preparing for it beforehand. So, yeah. um, WHO had already come to Nigeria before because we have the highest, one of the highest populations in yeah. Africa, if not the highest um so they knew that if you ever got here we are at greater risks of sharing it faster mm. so they had nigeria had already been preparing for coronavirus before it came basically they've trained them and tell them yes they have facilities they have facilities i was ready for it again yeah have i actually it? did a report on the facilities and the facility was awesome for a nigerian facility it was okay yeah wow.